Is this a good time to back up? If they're coming near you, it is. <laughs> we have to tell you when to back up. You're probably going to get nailed. What they'll do is they'll all kind of swoon and go back up into that ball. If I got the queen, they'll all stay by the queen. Wherever the queen is is where they go. So if the queen's still up in there, yep. then, you'll, then you'll have to shake it again. There's only a couple of bees on that branch. They look like they're going inside, which would be really cool. If you could get it on the... Have you ever got it on... Boiling into it? Looks like it's just kind of sinking in. Ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> How, do you usually get it where it's uh they all just fall in on the first shake or really other times you miss the queen and yeah they all go up and you have to shake it over and over again so this year we've been pretty lucky and most of them have been nice and low yeah I guess it's kind of a problem but it's way the heck up in the top of a tree isn't it I think somebody just texted you. I didn't see what it said, but I saw something. I saw the message sign go up into the top. Now, some of them are still going back up in the tree with that. Yeah. What is That's that? Because they don't know what to do right now. How long do you think it'll take them to settle out? So I'm planning on moving in about five minutes. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I'm gonna make money to keep playing with these bees. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is like farming at all. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Does it hurt to shake the heck out of that thing and make sure they're all down? Or? It doesn't look like they're going back to the. Oh, there they are. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, there's, there's more and more going back there. Yeah, there's quite a few up there. Well, you can tell how heavy that thing is. I can't reach the branch anymore. <laughs> yeah. You notice that? There was a lot of weight there, all right. Cut the branch, if you can. To figure out what the boys did with our clippers. Yeah, we had some nice tree cutters. I know it. Have you ever done that and squished bees? So maybe it did take, take a couple shakes this time. They're getting pretty angry, I can hear it. Okay, now if we take that thing away and the queen is in fact still out here, what happens? They all go back out here? Yeah, this afternoon come take a peek. See if they're, uh... So do you think the queen's in the box or up in the tree? Should we back up? Oh, uh, so far so good. Mm, if we get stung, we get stung. Good thing they can't sting you, though. Well, they can sting me. How? With their stingers? I mean, but you have... They aren't those... The suit on, we don't. No, I mean, can they sting you with the suit on? Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, it's just a more protective.
Wow, they're all come cuddled up on the side and the top and. So what you're thinking of is just leave the box sit there and hope they go in it. Or are you gonna try to take the box somewhere? No. I could do that. I could just put the lid on. See that they all go inside. She's in there. How can you tell? Well, and in the end, will those guys eventually go down and get in the box if the queen's in there, or how are you? She's in there, yeah. I gave them John Coleman there, too. So They've they, got some food in there to... It's not so much food, but it is, uh, the John Coleman, they're, they're, they like that smell. Yeah, I'm concerned she's in that ball on the side. Take a stick and kind of whoosh her up and... There's a big ball on the ground. Yeah, there's quite a big ball on the ground. But don't get yourself in a place like that. They come over after you. You're a screwed monkey. Right, what? No, I'm talking the ground here. Dude. Yeah, I better get that. I was just trying to get the camera to see the ball. This is really amazing. Bees fascinate me. <laughs> That's a good thing. Am I still a screwed monkey here? Not quite as screwed as you was a minute ago. For the most part, when they swim, they're pretty docile. Unless you kill their queen. Well, you don't even necessarily get mean when you do that. Really? A lot of guys will kill their queen every year. They'll requeen so that they have a strong queen going in the winter. Hmm. I personally don't believe in that. They'll make a new queen and it'll supersede her. It'll kill her. The other beat queen will. They'll fight. That's the only time a queen stings. Really? She dies, she stings? No, she can sting over and over like a hornet or a wasp. Ooh. How? Being a queen is the way to go, ain't it? Yeah. Especially if you're a chess person. excited about the wax that's in there. So if you just took off and come back uh, this evening, <clears throat> either they'd all be back in a tree or they'd all be in there. Well, they may move to another tree because they feel threatened. But it could be possible they'll go back up here because there's pheromones and stuff. What do you mean by that? Uh, so the queen emits a smell that everybody knows that's her. And they want to go where she's smell like her. <clears throat> When another bee comes to a hive, they sniff that bee to say, hey, you don't smell like us. And they either fight them or politely ask them to leave. Would well, it be better if we got a, a big snippers and you cut that branch out of there? Well, they got one in the tractor. Do you have one? Yeah. I just about got it cut. Well, I can go get it. It's a big, heavy one. It'll take it out of there. If that'll help, make sure you got the queen out. I'm pretty sure she's in there. It's up to you, but I'll run back and get it if you want to use it. I think it's okay, Dave. That's a lot smaller ball than I'm usually left with. Once I get the lid on, I'll shake it again. I'll shake it real hard and make sure they're all... Wow. 
why once you get the lid on? she lays an egg, it's over. they're committed. So hopefully she's in there checking out that nice piece of John Colon and saying, Mika has a soup pad. It's <laughs> better than the tree. Right. Well, they wouldn't build in there, but they're, they have scouts out looking for other places to move into, like, for example, an attic mm -hmm. or somewhere that's shelter, a dead out in a tree. Something like that, you know, your stereotypical beehive inside of something. I mean, only in South America and warm climates do they do like Winnie the Pooh and make a hive on a branch like that. Hmm. Because they're gonna die. You know, as soon as you get a windstorm, it's gonna blow and fall. You know what I mean? So they might look for a hollow tree, though. Correct. That's the typical. Or something that looks like a hollow tree. They don't know it's an attic. They just think it's a hollowed out area that looks like home. <laughs> See, they're, they're going inside, which makes me really happy. So, so you know the queen's in there because they're going in. So, I was a gambling man. See, now they're all, all of a sudden, there's a lot of movement going in. Look, there's a creepy looking dude out here. Let me in. That's what I'm doing. I'm get slowly getting over there. Because they are getting really close to me. And I don't like it because I think they are mad. If they come up to you and you hear them, and you pick it up and they start thumping you, you should probably do it. Yeah. Give you a I don't see why bees. Open fire next time we go. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty certain she's in there. Yeah, they're going right in there. I think this is one of the coolest things to see, in my opinion. This is like the first time every, I ever see anybody do that. Every person should have to see this. And I think this would help a lot of people with their fears of bees. So the guy's up there in the tree yet, and if there's no queen up there, what becomes of them? Well, so once the stink disappears, they're up there because that branch smells like her. Mm -hmm. She could still be up there. We'll know if they start coming out of the hive. I don't see anybody coming out the front door. Well, I see them coming in and out of the top. I don't see many leaving the top. I see most of them coming into the top. Yeah, but there's still a there's lot of them. A bunch going into the air, right? So do you think the queen's still on the tree? It looks like it, because they're... They're so dense with bees right there that even the camera picks them up. <clears throat> Are those gloves made out of cotton too? Or are they more heavy duty? Well, this one, this one, uh... No, they're just leather.
It's getting really dense with the these bees. There's the little swarm. Why are they still taking flight? Man, just listen. Stop asking so many questions. Are those three on top? Top? Are they wrestling? <laughs> Looks like it, dude. Yes, they are, actually. Hell of a time for a wrestling match. Holy cow, that's cool. What are they doing? Fighting. There's like five. Killed them? Yeah. Why? I don't know. They don't talk very well. I think we got her. There's a bunch at the door now going in. Yeah, they're getting awful close. Yeah, they're getting kind of close. Cut it. Oh.